Due to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. Introducing from Atlantic City, New Jersey, weighing in at 210 pounds, your Italian hero, Joey Image! Holy shit, look who's back. It's me, it's me, it's J-O-E. How the hell are you, everybody? Joey Image here with another exciting episode of That Image Guy podcast. Episode 45, my first episode in about seven weeks. And uh, basically, I just haven't really had anything to talk about. You know, just kind of been bored. Nothing really going on. I went on vacation, figured I'd talk about that. A couple of people wanted me to talk about the final deletion, which I was going to talk about. I thought it was awesome, but eh, it's kind of like too far in the past now to even bring up. It's not really my feelings or anyone's really thoughts about it aren't really relevant anymore. It's kind of too far in the past, but I'll just say uh, I thought it was great television and it did its job. It got millions, literally millions of people talking. So that was the whole idea. So, again, I, st- I mean, I don't really have a lot to talk about. That's why it's been so long since I've done an episode. I wanted to do every week, and I did. Then I wanted to do every other week, and I started doing that. And then I just had nothing much more to say for a while, so I didn't do anything uh, at all. <laughs> didn't do every week, didn't do every other week, didn't do seven weeks. Uh, I really don't have much to talk about now either, I'm sorry to say. Uh I mean, I guess I can tell you about what's been going on in my life and my vacation, what I've been doing, product reviews, uh, no podcasting, clearly, other than my Tuesday night show, Grumpy Cast, which you can find every week on Alpha Geek Radio, as well as iTunes, just search for Grumpy Cast, and uh, you can follow that show on Twitter, at Grumpy Cast, it's spelled just the way it sounds. And uh, if you are so inclined, feel free to send us a grump of your own. What bothers you? What pisses you off? Send it to us, an MP3, one minute or less, please, to grumpycast at gmail.com, or you can send us an email there as well. Uh, All right, all right, all right, enough ads, enough commercials. Let's get going. What is going on, everyone? I hope you all have been great. I hope you had a very great holiday, July 4th holiday. I know it's been a long time, but my last episode was, I believe, recorded the day before July 4th, and I think it came out the day after July 5th. So uh, I may have missed uh, a lot of people's July 4th barbecues and parties and getting drunk and everything, so I hope it was all okay. So what am I going to talk about today? I don't really know, but uh, we'll figure something out. I mean, uh, again, been kind of a slow couple of, uh, you know few weeks here nothing really going on other than the the usual that was going on before I quote unquote took a hiatus still kind of getting our house set up here my fiance and I moved into this new house as you all know not new to her but new to me she's been living here for many many years new to me so we're still and I know people are thinking holy Christ you're still doing that uh yeah basically we we have three bedrooms and the last one is, is gonna be a guest room and we just haven't had any guests and haven't had that that room ready enough for anyone to spend the night or sleep over there so we haven't really done much with it so in fact it's only this past few days that we've actually got it cleaned up we've got an air conditioner in there now we've got blinds that are going to go on the windows and uh we've got a futon that's going to go in there so we're kind of getting it ready for i know it's kind of late now it's almost the end of the summer and it would have been nice to have had this ready for maybe the beginning of the summer but we weren't here in the beginning of the summer so you know, we're, we're going to make do with what we got with the time we've got left in the summer. We're still going to party and hang out and, you know, we'll still have people over and stuff. We have people over every month for the uh, WWE pay-per-view shows. So, you know, just the only difference between now and uh, in the future is in the future. If people want to come over, they can actually sleep here because we'll actually have somewhere for them to rest their head at night. So, that's still going on. Uh, my office is almost done. Some of you saw pictures of it online. I've got some new shelves in here, I've got a new setup position, and a new just setup in general for my Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, I don't have anything, I don't have the one or two set up yet, but I do have all three of them. 
So eventually, I, I, maybe I'll get a Raspberry Pi Zero. I don't know. I don't really see the point of that one. But anyway, eventually that'll be done as well. Uh, what else? Got a new 5.1 surround system in the office. I had a Philips that I got in 2007. Uh, so that's about nine years, eight and a half, nine years. And we had a power outlet, power outage last week while we were on vacation in Lake George. There was a power outage here at the house in Jersey. And my 5.1 surround, my, it was a Philips system that died. The receiver blew out from, I'm assuming from that power outage, because after that it never turned back on again. So I got a new RCA system, not amazing, but, uh, well, let me put it this way. It's not amazing for, if you were to put it like in a living room or like a home theater room, just dedicated to that. Uh, like an open space, I should say. Like So, if you're putting it in... Like, I have it in my office, which is a 12 by 20 room. So, it sounds amazing in here. It's super loud. It sounds terrific. But again, if you were, if you were to put this in a big, wide open room, like a regular living room, where you would have, uh, you know, a 5.1, a home theater, big screen TV setup, it might not sound as good, because there's so much area for the sound to go. But in here, where I'm at in this office, it's a it's an enclosed space... So it sounds terrific. The sound just bounces all over the place on all these walls, and it's really, really nice. So I've got that going. I added a brand new air conditioner to my office. There was an air conditioner in here beforehand that I had gotten as a uh, hand-me-down from somebody else. It was very loud and kind of clunky and old, very old. So I just got a brand new one a couple days ago. It's like a Frigidaire 8000 BTU. It does very, very wonderfully in this room. I've got, uh, let me see, I've got my, my desktop computer. I've got two laptops set up. All right, one laptop and one is a netbook. And I will have the three Raspberry Pis set up eventually. So there's a lot of uh, electronic equipment in this room, a lot of heat heat generating electronic equipment to be more specific. So that kind of stuff needs to be cooled down as much as possible. So I got a brand new air conditioner that is uh, Wi-Fi. So I, can, I control it basically from an app on my phone. I mean, obviously there's controls in the front of the unit, but I use the app on my phone. I can set a timer. So it goes on and off when I say. So, you know, it goes on and off a couple times during the day and a couple times at night. So it keeps everything nice and cool in this room. And uh, if you did hear that, yes, my voice cracked. It keeps everything nice in this room, is what I said. So that's working out nicely. So everything is good, man. Life is good. Things are going well. You know, things are, uh, things are looking terrific for my YouTube channel. Let's talk about that for a minute. For a while there, I never... There was a while where I didn't really get any new subscribers on my YouTube, or I would get one or two every few days, and then I would lose two or three, so I ended up always being kind of behind. Um, and, and that happened for quite a while, and I don't know what happened recently, but within the past two or three months, maybe, I my subscription numbers have dropped, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, have drastically shot up. I almost said have dropped, but they haven't. So... I'm averaging right now 18 to 20 new subscribers a day, and I'm not really sure what is uh, what's <laughs> what's causing that, but I am loving it. So, along with uh, subscriptions come views, obviously. So today, which right now it is Saturday, August 27th, 2016, I just broke 1 million views slash hits slash clicks on my YouTube channel, which will help me tremendously. A lot of people uh, know, I guess, a lot of you know, a lot of you maybe don't know or don't realize that you can monetize. In fact, I know there's people that don't realize this because somebody mentioned it to me in uh, a comment on, on one of my YouTube videos, and we'll get into YouTube comments in a little bit. Uh, I got some uh, shit talking to do to some idiots and uh, some people I need to bury. No, I won't name anybody because they're really not worth the time. They're not worth the promotion. But... Um, I still want to just talk about some stupid idiots. Anyway, so the uh, a lot of people don't realize that you can monetize YouTube videos, which means you get money per click. Now, it's not, you know, I'm not getting like, if you click on it right now, as you're listening to this, I'm not getting like 2 or $3. I'm getting like maybe a penny or 2 or 3 pennies, I believe it is, per click, something like that, for ads. Because of the ads that run before, during, and or after each video. So again, I'm not sure how, what the actual total is i think it's only a few pennies though but that adds up so again right now i've got um let me see i'll give you an exact number actually and i'm not sure again how the hell this happened 
Uh, it's pretty insane to me that I've actually got this many views. And in fact, I'll tell you the video that I'm talking about. There was one video that is, uh, it's called, um, uh, what's it called? A secret, uh, secret, oh, exploring the secret room in my parents' basement. So in my parents' house, actually, let me, before I, before I go to that, let me get this number for you that I was talking about. All right, so currently I have 2,983 subscribers, and my view count is 1,038,921. So I have no idea how that's happened. And that is as of 6.14 p.m., Saturday, August 27th, 2016. So if you're listening to this after that, those numbers, at least the view count may be more, the subscription count may be less, I don't know. Depends if people want to unsubscribe or whatever. You know, you, you do what you want. But anyway, the video itself that caused that 1 million plus views is one called uh, Exploring the Secret Hidden Room in My Parents' Basement. So basically the deal is my parents have have a room in their basement. It's a room under the stairs, which... I understand a lot of houses have these rooms under the stairs, but I've never seen one that was completely concealed. So, in other words, if you go to my parents' house, you can look around for it and you won't even know it's there because there's a whole bunch of stuff in front of it. There's a computer desk in front of it. There's a pic like a painting, you know, a framed painting on the wall in front of it and a calendar all covering the entryway to this little hidden room. So, the first idiots that I want to talk about on YouTube or the people that tell me, no, that's not a secret room. It's not hidden. It's right under the stairs. Okay. Do you know how many people have been in my house over the years? Do you know how many of them even knew or realized there's a room there? Zero. It's not like you just walk into the, into my parents' room and, or I'm sorry, into my parents' house in the basement and go, oh, look at that. There's a doorway there. It's not at all visible to the naked eye because there's stuff in front of it. So the people that claim it, that's no secret. Um, it is stupid because you can't see it. It's literally covered. Obviously, if you take away all the stuff that's in front of it, you, there's no handle on it. There's no doorknob or anything like that. It's just a slit in the wall where you have to put your kind of put your nails into in between the wall and this paneling and pry it out, or you can put something in there and pry it open. But unless you know that that's there, you don't know that it's there because it's behind a bunch of stuff. So that's one set of comments that usually pisses me off. It's not a secret. Yes, it is. It is, stupid. Because you can't see. It's not hidden. That's another one. One guy told me it's not a room. I go, what the hell do you call a f What do you call four walls with a ceiling and a floor? Is that not a room? And a doorway to get into it. Is that not a room? I don't understand. I don't understand what that fucking idiot was talking about. This is not a room. Oh, okay, cool. You stupid bastard. And these things on my head that I'm listening into right now are not headphones. So anyway, uh, so I assure you it is hidden. Um, it's, it, it's a hidden it's a uh, uh, hidden room, again, a bunch of stuff in front of it. Can't see it without moving the stuff out of the way. So, it's I mean, it's really like if you took, I don't know, a 10-inch sheet of paper and put it over, you know, put it on top of a 5-inch sheet of paper, you're not going to see the 5-inch because the 10-inch is so big it covers the entire 5-inch. That's exactly what this thing is like. Okay, the wall, the computer desk, the painting, and the calendar cover up the doorway. They're in front of it because they completely conceal it is why you can't see anything. So yes, it is in fact hidden. And if you're standing around there, it is a secret. You, you don't know it's there, it's a secret. It's common sense. Anyway, that's that's enough of that stupid stupidity. Um, so yeah, anyway, so that video somehow... I remember the day that I first noticed that that was like the big video that was going, not, I don't want to say going viral, but for me, I mean, that's uh, probably the, the right term at least because, again, 900 million something views is insane. Or I'm sorry, 900,000 something views is insane. Um, in fact, to kind of put this a little bit into perspective, let's do this. We're going to do real-time reporting right now. I'll let you know. This is how insane it is that this video has reached so many views. Right now, my number one viewed video, again, is exploring the secret hidden room in my parents' house. Now, that video has 982,550 views, which is insane by itself because just about, well, a little bit less than 24 hours ago, 
I was on a Google Hangout video chat with some friends, and we were talking about this video, and this video was at 975,000. So it got over 7,000 views in the last less than a day, which to me is insane. Anyway, so again, 982,550 views on my number one most viewed, and this is how insane it is that this particular video went quote-unquote viral because when I tell you the amount of views on my second, my number two most viewed video, you're going to think, how the hell does that happen? Again, last time, number one most viewed video, 982,550 views. Number two most viewed, 4,034. <laughs> really? <laughs> A difference of 978,000 views. That is just fucking insane. I don't understand how that happens. Thir 1,372 comments, 3,464 thumbs up, 1,697 thumbs down. First of all, I, I don't know what the thumbs down is for because, uh, I don't know. I, I don't really trust the thumbs up and thumbs down stuff that, that they really literally mean nothing to me because you don't even have to watch the video. You can just load the video, click that, and click... You know, click up, thumbs up, click thumbs down, and then go somewhere else. Close the browser window, click on a different uh, video, whatever. You don't even have to watch it. Like, the way YouTube should work is none of these buttons are accessible or enabled, whether the comments, the thumbs up, and the thumbs down. Maybe the comments, but even that's kind of iffy. Iffy, excuse me. But I think the thumbs up and the thumbs down button should not be uh, active or enabled until the video has run out or at least say it's a 10 minute video say you get through like seven minutes of it so at least 75 percent of the video should be should have already been played before those two buttons are active otherwise i could just find some guy i don't like and just click thumbs down on all of his videos just to make sure he's having a shitty day and not ever watch any of them just um, just long enough for, for the web page to load in my browser the video doesn't even have to start playing yet so you know you can see how that's kind of bullshit so I don't put any any stock into the thumbs up or thumbs downs because um, they don't mean anything to me. But anyway, so that's how insane the the difference is between my number one most viewed video and my number two. 978,000 difference. 978,000 hits difference from one to the other. So I, I don't understand how this video got like this. I do remember one day and I, I never ever look at how many clicks or how many videos or views i'm sorry not videos how many hits or clicks my views my videos get i it just it never really mattered to me much but then one day i was just poking around and i saw 300 i remember seeing 380,000 on this secret room video and i was like what the hell like that can't be that's got to be correct i mean that's got to be like incorrect or Maybe there's a glitch or something like that, or maybe it's getting the numbers mixed up, or the calculations aren't done in real time. Maybe that's old, and there's some kind of something going on in the background where it's bugged or something like that. Like, somehow that count cannot be correct. So I restarted YouTube, or uh, sorry, not restarted, I refreshed YouTube. That was fine. I logged out, logged back in, it was the same thing. I, sh I even restarted my computer thinking something was wrong with my browser itself. Came back in, same thing, 380,000. So I was like, wow, I don't know how the hell this even happened, especially on such a throwaway, like, nothing video. Nothing important even happened in the video. It's not like it was like a review where I was trying to maybe sell a product to somebody or kind of an unboxing where I was kind of showing you, like, hey, look at this, you know, this month's subscription box. I got this. It was just like I open up a thing and, you know, I open the room and, and look and see what's inside. That's really it. So I don't understand the popularity of those types of videos, but I think it's... I think it's awesome that I got I got that going because again almost a million views on that video alone over one million on my channel now which means uh, I'm making some decent money off of YouTube I'm not you know not enough to uh, you know kind of live off of that but still definitely making a good amount of money off of YouTube every month and uh, that feels good so what else do you want to talk about oh we were gonna get back into more YouTube comments all right so I talked about the one comment earlier about this is not a room or this is not a secret or this is not hidden let me talk about the other comment that seems to come up every 15 minutes why do you still live in your parents house why do you still live with your parents 
Why do you still live there? First of all, they're they're asking me as if I do. They're not asking, do you? So let me just clarify. No, I do not live with my parents. Because this video was filmed at their house, people assume... I, well, I, I think this is the logic behind it. I'm not really sure. But I think that this is the thinking behind it. Um, because it was filmed at my parents' house, they think... People watching it think I live there. Which, to me makes absolutely no sense and it's probably one of the most asinine assumptions I've ever heard of. What if I filmed it at a Walmart or a ShopRite? Would you assume I live there too? I mean, Jesus. And another thing that should be blatantly obvious to all these fucking idiots, what if if I was going to do a video in my own home, I would say, "Hey, we're going to go downstairs in my house and check this out." But instead I say, "I'm going to go to somebody else's house and look at this room." So if I said, and I didn't say the word somebody else, I said my parents' house, which is somebody else, not me. So if I pointed out the fact that it's not mine, why would people think it's mine? I don't understand that. And it's like you can't explain it enough because I explain it, I respond to some idiot, and I go, no, dude, I don't live with my parents. Just because the video is filmed there doesn't mean that's where I live. And then I get another guy the next fucking day. Hey, man, you live with your parents. You're a loser. ha, ha, ha. Dude, read the other 9,000 fucking comments where someone already asked that, and I already explained it. Please, I'm fucking begging you. Learn how to read. There's so many fucking people. Oh, alright, so that's that's the second one. Let me get one other. There's so many fucking people that are just like idiots that don't read everything. One thing that I learned when I first learned how to really use a computer and kind of get into like using programs and stuff like that in school, one thing that I learned and was drilled into my head Always read the screen. Everything you need to know, whatever you're trying to do on that system or on that browser or in that program or in that game, there's always a button or a link or, or text or something somewhere that will tell you how to do that next step. You may not know what you're doing, but for example, I mean, I use Audacity to record this, to record this podcast. I may not know the ins and outs of every little thing Audacity can do, but if I read the screen, there's a whole menu right here with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different options. And then each one of them has sub menus with, uh, you know, nine different tabs, I should say. And then each one of them has sub menus with anywhere from 15 to 30 or 40 options. So again, always read the screen because what you need will be there. So if you're going to go on my, my video and say, hey, do you live with your parents? Like I'm sure. 30 or 40 of you are going to do now listening to this just as a joke to bust my balls. Open your eyes and read the rest of the comments where everyone, you know, a lot of other people are saying, hey, deliver the parents, because there's your answer. And then you won't look so fucking stupid for asking again. I can't stand repeating myself. I should, I should be able to say something to you once, and that's it. And if you don't understand it, you say, well, I don't get this part, or I don't get that part, or whatever. But not, deliver the parents? No. Do you live with your parents? No. Do you live with your parents? No. Dude, get the fucking point. I, I don't need to... I, I fucking hate repeating myself. I shouldn't have to do it 17, 18 times. Well over that in this video, but you get the idea. Anyway, that's the second uh, comment that fucking pisses me off. And the third one is... And I was talking about this last night in the Google Hangout video chat thing as well. The third one is when people log into a YouTube video and they insult the creator... And they say something like, no wonder you only have X amount of subscriptions or X amount of viewers. And then that person has astronomically lower than you? Really? So, this this happened. Now, again, I don't have a lot of YouTube subscribers on my channel, okay? My subscription number is 2,000... Wow, actually, this went up since the last time we talked about it. So, it's 2,995 right now as of 6 35 p.m on saturday okay so somebody um thursday i think it was somebody said something like this video is stupid no wonder you don't have many subscriptions and i'm like okay so i, don't, I, I know i don't have a lot i know close to three thousand is not a lot i mean there's guys that have hundreds of thousands there's people that have millions there's people that have millions of views too i only have one million there's people that have millions and millions of subscriptions, so I understand 3,000 may not be anything. It may be so small and minute that it's not even worth mentioning. 
but the guy that said that had 1100 now again 1100 is not uh it's not a lot but when you think about it this way that's a you think of 1100 people in one room that subscribe to you specifically to hear and see what you have to do and say Okay, so if you if you picture it like that, like you know, uh, 1,100, that's not much. You know, my buddy Dave's got 133,000 or whatever. Yeah, I understand that, but 1,100 people in one room just there to hear you—that's a lot of people. Okay, how many indie shows nowadays draw consecutive? Or I'm sorry, consistently every event at least 1,100 people. Not that many. There's a few. I can think of five or six offhand that do it, but that's really about it that I know of. I should say. So. This kid, again, even though 1,100 is not really a super small number, he only had 1,100. I have close to 3,000. You're telling me I don't have that many subscribers? What? I have over three times more than you. I don't understand the logic in that. Like, that seems to be such a common uh, quote-unquote insult on YouTube. That's why you don't have that many viewers or subscriptions. Really? So I've got multiple times the amount you have but I don't have that many so then what do you have you must have shit then and again 1100 is nothing to balk at that's not at all a small number but you know you're going to tell me that I have not that many when you have not that many <laughs> stupid bastard so it just it just drives me nuts that people are like people are just stupid and like asinine and there's only like a lot of people are only on there just to berate and ridicule people. I just want to make a goddamn video of what's in the newest nerd block. That's all. Okay, is that physically or mentally or emotionally hurting you or endangering your life or hurting your life in some way? It's not good. Then fuck off. Watch the video. Keep your fucking stupid comments to yourself. If you don't like the box, just say, I didn't like this box. Not, the guy that opened this box is a fucking idiot. Give me a break. Stupid shit like that is so ridiculous. You know, it's just like, it's, it's, first of all, it's just fucking rude. Just plain rude. For no reason. That's the thing. It's not even for a reason. Like, all I did on this one video was open this doorway and show you what was inside. I don't understand the need for a lot of the people that are like, you live with your fucking parents. You have a big belly. This video is stupid. What the fuck do I care? First of all, the people that think that the videos are stupid, I don't give a shit. You could fucking thumbs down every single video I have multiple times a day. And, well, it won't work multiple times, but you get the idea. But you can thumbs down every video I have. I'm still getting money because you watched it. You, you, you clicked on it. You went to that link to begin with. Okay? So I'm still getting the money from that. So that phrase, I'm laughing all the way to the bank, would be literal in this case. Because while you're telling me how much I suck, I have money that was given... To me from you because of you and I'm going to the bank to deposit that shit so yeah I'll be laughing all the way to the fucking bank so you know what now that I'm talking about these shitty comments I'm gonna go on this video and actually read you some I'll read you some of the stupid bullshit barrage of of stupidity that I get on a literally a hourly basis and then I'll read you some of my responses back and I'm just gonna pick out five or six random ones nothing really specific that I even know of but I'm just, you know, that, I'm, that I have in mind. I'm just going to go through and see what we've got. So here we go. First one from Nate McCall one week ago. Nice ponytail, you homo. Oh, so in 2016, a guy can't have long hair. It's, it's still, I know when I was a kid, when I was in high school, I had long hair. But there was still that stigma that, oh, if you have long hair, you're a homo. You have a ponytail. Oh, give me a break. So fucking stupid. But in 2016, we still feel this way. I was in high school over 20 years ago. Has society not fucking grown up yet? So my, my, first of all, this kid doesn't even have a picture. So, you know, I don't hide myself. Let me just talk about that for a second. I don't hide myself, okay? I put my, my name is publicly all over the place. The town that I live in, not hard to find, okay? Uh, it's in my Facebook profile. It's my, it's on my Twitter profile, Okay. So, you know, in fact, uh, I mean, I don't always say, hey, I'm going to be here on this date, because that's really no one's business. But if all these trolls online really wanted to say anything to my face, they never did when I was wrestling, because when I was wrestling, every, um, 
you know, every event I was going to be at every weekend was obviously on my website, on my Facebook, my Twitter, whatever, the company's website. So it would say, I'm going to be in Lyndhurst, New Jersey, September 17th on Saturday at 6 p.m. But all these trolls that always had shit to tra- you know, trash talk to say about me uh, every day on Twitter or wherever, they never came to those shows, even though they knew, they knew where I was going to be, what time, approximately how long I was going to be there, and what I looked like. And and zero of them ever showed up. Now the new the new troll is YouTube comments, which is I know not new, but it's I shouldn't say new. I guess I guess it's probably it might be new to some people though that this actually happens. But anyway, so nice ponytail, you homo from Nate McCall. So I respond, yay, so mature, good for you. Somebody else responds, let's see a picture of you, Nate. He doesn't have a picture again. Uh. So then that's it. He never responds again. After me or this other guy, me and this other guy tells him off, he never responds again. Which is, uh, to me, pretty funny. And was the expected, you know, result. uh, The expected effect, I guess. You know, a lot of of the deal with these trolls is that once you go back at them, they don't do anything again. Or they they, they just say one comment and that's it, like this guy. Like... That was his day. That's what he did that day. He went on YouTube and, and said a shitty comment to someone. I, I just don't understand the, the logic behind that. Does that make your day better? Does it make you feel better about yourself to call me a homo because I wear my hair? and Because I, you know, I pull my hair back in a ponytail? What? I don't understand the logic think, there, but whatever. Apparently Nate McCall you know, knows better than I do, so whatever. Uh, let's see what else we got on here. Uh, so much for it not being a secret, no, so, sorry, so much for it being a secret place, not no more, not no more, there you go, the, 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 uh, educational system is, uh, you know, I don't know, failing this idiot right here, Clem A, again, not a real name, not a real picture, shocking, uh, what else, a lot of, uh, hey, this is Harry Potter's room comments, which is hilarious, ha ha ha, wonderful, a lot of uh, your shirt looks awesome. I like that Metallica shirt. Uh, very cool shirt. Metallica's my favorite band. Uh, a lot of cool stuff um, about that. Thumbs up on the Italia tattoo, which is really cool. Um, and then uh, someone else said, here's another one. Isn't he a little bit too old to still be living with mom and dad? To which my response was, where does it say I live with him? I don't, so I'm curious as to exactly where I said that. Just because the video takes place in their home must mean I live there, huh? Not quite. And then someone said, sneaking around when they are out gives that impression. Uh, I said, well, I'm not sneaking around, first of all. I'm blatantly out in the open. It's not like I'm hidden. If I was sneaking around, I'd be trying to hide, wouldn't I? I mean, that's what, that's what, that's what being sneaky means. Uh, it's like a rogue in World of Warcraft. I'm stealthy. I'm, I'm hidden. I'm sneaky. I'm not being sneaky in this video. I'm plainly out in the open. I don't. I don't even know if they're home. I don't remember. But anyway, uh, gives that impression. Uh, so I responded. I did say my parents' house. If I lived there, I would say I'm at home or at my own house. So I, again, I just don't get it. It's just like I don't know. I don't. I don't understand how so many people can just have such a shitty day that this is what they do. You know, I don't understand. Here's another one. Dumb video, lousy camera work. My my default response is, thanks for watching. Because, as I said earlier, I don't care if you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you thumbs up, if you thumbs down. I still get the money from it. So, I'm winning. Uh, someone else said, you're welcome. How does it feel in a video with almost 1 million views? I said, my bank account loves it. <laughs> um, but, I don't know. It's, it's like, it's just like, I don't know. It's just ridiculous. It's stupid bullshit that it's like, they're... I mean, there are some very, very... I haven't gotten anything all too terrible, thankfully. But there are some really fucking brutal and disgusting and rude motherfuckers in YouTube comments on other videos that don't deserve it. Not mine. Like I said, I haven't got anything like that. But I've seen I've seen people like post videos about their GoFundMe campaigns for a woman who had cancer. And you know, her like last wish was she had to get some sort of surgery. She was terminal, but... There was some kind of surgery that could prolong her life, and it was it would prolong her life long enough to where she could see her kid get married or something, her son get married. And people were like, 
who the fuck cares? Like, you're fucking begging for money for just to go to a wedding and blah, blah. I'm like, man, people are fucking cruel, man. Like, some of those people really don't deserve to have internet access or a life. Like, there's just some people that, are, that literally give, that just have no worth. Okay? People that give, contribute nothing positive to society. And they use YouTube comments to let the rest of the world know where they are. Which is pretty funny, actually, if you think about it. Because, like, you know, you, you can be a piece of shit scumbag and no one knows you or knows who you are or you don't have a presence, an online presence or anything like that, and you'll never be found. But if you go on YouTube and all you do is go to videos and you're like, hey, you're a piece of shit, you're a jerk off, hey, nice ponytail homo, then people are going to take notice of that and be like, oh, this guy's a dick. And now they know that you're a jerk off. Like, it's just, I don't know, it's just ridiculous how scummy and shitty people are and how many, like... People try to hide it by not using a real name or not using a picture or not using, you know, their first name, last name or a first name, last name or whatever. It's just insane. I don't know. Anyway, uh, man, this is I've been babbling for 30 fucking minutes already. I don't know how you people stand it, but it feels good to be back. And again, episode 45. I'm sorry for the uh, the long wait uh, for, for anyone that actually gives a crap about the wait. Um, oh, I didn't even talk about my vacation. All right, so let me let me do about 10 minutes on that, and then I'll let you go. Went to Lake George, my fiancé and I, with three other couples, so there were eight of us total uh, adults. There were two children, age three and four, uh, four couples. So we had a blast. I've never been to Lake George. Now, I'm not a very outdoorsy guy. I don't care about swimming in the lake. I don't care about going fishing. I don't care about going snorkeling or kayaking or any of that stuff. But I dig going out in a boat. And I, I, I think... Like, I, I had been thinking about this while I was there. Like, why like why do I not care about this, but I'm okay with the boat thing? And it's, like, the same thing. And I think it's because if I'm out there swimming or if I'm out there... Well, I don't care about fishing. It's just fishing is, is kind of as boring as golf to me. You know, the only advantage of fishing is, like, drinking a few beers to me. So, but, but I think... But I couldn't figure out, like, why do I not really care about swimming, but I'll go out in the boat anytime. And I think it's because in the boat, my feet are on the ground. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm standing in the boat, standing in the bottom of the boat. I can feel something underneath me supporting me. If I'm swimming, there ain't nothing underneath me but the ocean floor. And who the hell knows how down, how far down I gotta go to get to that, you know? So I don't know. I think it's more support if I'm inside something like a boat. Um, I, so I don't know if that even makes sense or if I'm just babbling like an idiot. But anyway, so yeah, I'm not a very outdoorsy guy, but that was cool. The boat thing was cool. The only thing that sucked was that the boat broke down on Monday. So, we got there last Saturday, uh, not, I'm sorry, not last Saturday, the Saturday before. So, we got there that Saturday, we, the boat got into the water, we got the boat going on Sunday, and then Monday it broke down, and we didn't have it the rest of the week, which kind of sucked. It didn't get fixed until, I think, Friday afternoon or Friday night, and that sucked because everyone was leaving Saturday morning. But, again, the boat thing was really cool, shooting out there in the lake, like, I just went with the guy, Brian, that owns it to go get gas for it and get some food or whatever, but it was really cool, and uh, we did, like, the, the cruise boat, which is called the Mohican, at the end of the week, and that takes you on a three-hour tour, a three-hour tour, um, and that goes up and down the lake and explains what everything is and shows you all these multi-million dollar homes I got down there and explains, like, what happened here at this side of the lake and what happened over here and stuff. So it's really cool. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool stuff to do there. Uh, the heat was insane, man. I mean, it was a couple of days. It was like 100, 101, but it was really cool. Um, went into town, went to some really nice restaurants. You know, I'm a big seafood guy. Like, I love seafood. I don't care about fish, uh, like just like a, like a fillet of sole or fillet of flounder or whatever. Like, I don't really care about that. Like, I dig shellfish. Shellfish is my, my thing. Like, I like shrimp and, and lobster and crab and lobster. I really love lobster. <laughs> so, we went to a, a couple really nice uh, seafood places that, that you know, if, if you go, if you want seafood, if you like good quality seafood, you got to go to a place that's near the water. Because, look at it this way. You know, if you go, like, to the center of the country... Like, I don't know, Nebraska or, or, you know, South Dakota or something like that. Like, you're not really getting uh, Kansas or Colorado or something like that. Like, you're not really near water. Per I mean, I know there's lakes and rivers stuff like that, but I'm talking like, you know, 
big ass bodies of water that got some fish, it got some some sea life floating around in there. Um, you know, because if you go to a place like that in the center of the country, maybe Nebraska, Iowa, Wyoming, you know, even Nevada, stuff like that's in like that kind of area where there's not really a lot of rivers and lakes or oceans around, the seafood has got to be shipped in from other places. And a lot of times that's not like an overnight thing where, you know, it's still mostly fresh the next day. So, you know, if you go to like Colorado, for example, and you get, I don't know, or Wyoming or whatever, you, you know, you order like a, say you order like a lobster dinner that may not necessarily have just been caught or been brought in that day. It could be from the day before or even two days prior, which to me is really not fun. So I prefer to go to places by the water. And again, since I live in New Jersey, we got water all up and down our coast. So I know that the stuff that I'm getting is good. It's fresh. It tastes good. The stuff we got in Lake George was awesome, man. The water's right there. So, you know, it's 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 kind of a well-known thing for seafood people, I guess. If you're by the water, if you live somewhere near the water, or if you visit somewhere near the water, there's going to be some good seafood. Obviously, a substantial bomb. I'm not talking about a little pond in the back where there's some minnows and maybe a half a chicken floating around, you know? So, anyway... Uh, yeah, so we had some really good seafood. I had this thing called, uh, I don't know, this thing called something at a place called Lakeside, which is a really awesome restaurant up there. It's right on the main road. I couldn't tell you what the hell it's called. I forget. But, oh, 9W, or not, sorry, not 9W, 9 South, I think it is. Uh, so you go up there, you go to this place called Lakeside. It's a restaurant. And you get this thing I call, I, I forget what it's called. It's something medley. But anyway, it's lobster crab and shrimp over pasta with like a creamy kind of alfredo sauce it is freaking awesome right just go up there and get it it's real real good uh don't tell them i say it because they don't know my name or anything like that no one knows who i am but it's awesome so check it out lake george lakeside restaurant they got some real awesome seafood get that like uh that crab lobster shrimp pasta medley i forget what it's called you can look up their website too actually their menu is right online so anyway, that was vacation. I've been home now for a little over a week doing the YouTube thing. I've got a lot of stuff I need to do videos about. I have to do an unboxing for Mr. Robot. If uh, some of you follow my Twitter, remember a few weeks ago, Mr. Robot, the, te the television show, sent me a tweet saying, please send us a DM. We need to talk to you. So I sent them a DM and they said, can we have your home address? You've been a loyal follower and we want to send you a, a thank you gift. What's your shirt size? So I gave them my shirt size. So they sent me a shirt. Uh, I haven't unboxed it yet, but I'm going to soon. And that unboxing video will be online very shortly. I also just did an unboxing video for the Sky Genius LED Long Life Corn Lamp Bulb. Uh, you can see that on my YouTube. I've got a couple of uh, audio... Um, I don't know what you call them. Audio add-ons, I guess. I got a, a, a converter box. Um, an audio to, uh, or digital to analog converter box I got. I got a car charger with, uh, I think two USBs and two cigarette lighter power adapters, so I need to do that. Um, I just got a, actually just today, I haven't even opened the box yet, a, uh, laptop fan slash cooler that you plug, you know, you plug into the laptop USB port and it cools the thing. I have one already that's on my Roku box because the Roku 4s are known to overheat. So, um, I got a, uh, laptop cooler for that and now, and it works wonderfully, never had a problem. But anyway, so that's what's going on with me. I hope everything is going on with you is good. Send me messages, please, at Joey Image on Twitter, facebook.com slash real Joey Image. And please, I want to thank everybody actually that went out of their way to buy a t-shirt during the July 4th sale from ProWrestlingTees.com slash Joey Image. Very important to me that you buy a shirt from there, please. I've got a wedding to pay for, so please help me pay for that. Again, ProWrestlingTees.com slash Joey Image. I am out of here. Look forward to episode 46, please. Coming again, I will probably stick with the bi-weekly thing, so coming within two weeks. And I hope you all stick around. I hope some of you are still subscribed to this that uh, didn't think like, oh, well, it's been five or six weeks. I guess he's done with that podcast. I can unsubscribe from that now. 
Please, I hope you still subscribe. Send me your messages. Let me know. If you want to send me hate mail like the idiots on YouTube, it's youtube.com slash joeyimage or joeyimage at gmail.com. I love you all. Some of you. Some of you are just, uh, eh, you know, I, I can do without. But anyway, I love all you people. Thank you very much for listening, and I will talk to you soon.